Seven people are dead, and you're next. It's Who Done It, aka Island of Blood, the 1982 mystery slasher recently restored and released by our friends at Vinegar Syndrome. I'm Zach, and welcome to today's review where we'll be looking at the film itself, unboxing the physical release, and checking out all the bonus content that Vinegar Syndrome has added in. So let's jump right into the story of Who Done It. Our story is set on a tiny island off the coast of a local town, now housing a historic school grounds kept by a single crowns keeper, Bert. One day, Bert's made aware by the mayor that a movie studio is planning to shoot a film on the island, and he is to host and watch over the crew. So an entire cast of characters are soon brought to the small island for early rehearsals. We have a fidgety director, Franklin, a confident producer, Steve, and a whole cast of actors, actresses, and musicians, all looking forward to their debut in the film industry. The groundskeeper Bert isn't very welcoming, and everyone else struggles to get along. This puts our group on edge, since there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of information on the background of the production they're to be working on. So they awkwardly settle in and begin rehearsing lines and reading scripts, in anticipation of the film crew set to arrive later in the week. With everything in place, the bloodshed can now come forth and the film's title moves into play. It doesn't take long for people to start dying left and right, murdered in a myriad of ways. From being boiled alive to showered with battery acid, Who Done It does not let up in its slasher kill creativity. As the spree continues, those alive begin finding bodies, each strangely accompanied by a music tape, always playing the same droning tune that lyrically describes each killing at hand. From here on out, it's a classic mystery slasher as everyone enters survival mode and begins questioning, accusing, and banding together, trying to figure out who is responsible for the increasingly ramped up killings. Overall, the film exceeded my expectations, however low they were going in. The script is all over the place, and the subpar acting doesn't help either, but if you go in with a tempered mind and cheesy expectations, it can be a really fun movie. The kills are both brutal and creative, and the built-in plot point with the recurring song encourages a wide variety of death scenes. Who Done It is definitely the sort of movie you would gather friends together for a drinking game. It can be unintentionally hilarious at times, and bloody intense at others. The mystery-style story allows for a fun guess-who game as the massacre unfolds. A great pick for the Vinegar Syndrome treatment. They've brought us an insanely good-looking restoration and a handful of bonuses to check out. For now, let's go unbox our release. Here we are with Vinegar Syndrome's release of Who Done It, aka Island of Blood. I have here the limited release slipcover, which is of great quality as expected from this label. The artwork is highlighted with various types of embossments and textures, giving it an overall premium feel and look. Underneath, we have our Blu-ray case with all the release information on the back, and inside is housed our single disc. This film has had a lot of releases over the past 40 years, under all sorts of titles. As such, the reversible sleeve features one of the more prominent and perhaps official titles, Island of Blood. With that, however, we've opened up our copy of Who Done It. So let's go check out what bonus features Vinegar Syndrome has for us on the disc. Who Done It looks better than ever with Vinegar Syndrome's 4K scan and restoration of the original 35mm negative. Alongside the feature presentation, we get a commentary track to listen to. The track features three members, Justin, Nathan, and Joseph, from the online horror film cast, The Hysteria Continues. Our trio brings their podcast expertise to the commentary track. They make great conversation throughout the film, and have a lot of interesting tidbits and tangents. They're obviously fans of slasher cinema, and their love for the genre comes through. They do tend to lose focus at times throughout the viewing, but even when they do trail off, it's always about something interesting or entertaining. Moving on to our video supplements, we get an original theatrical trailer, and a collection of four interviews with various actors and actresses, as well as one with the editor. Our first two interviews are with actors Terrence Goodman, who plays producer Steve in the movie, and Jim Piper, who plays actor John. They each have about 15 minutes of interview footage discussing the history of Who Done It as a production, as well as their experiences working on the shoot itself. I definitely recommend these two bonuses after watching the feature. Our other two interviews are much lengthier and run standard interview style with an off-screen moderator who poses questions to be answered. Each of these run about 35 minutes long, with one featuring actress Marie Elise Rakasner, who plays the dancer Donna in the film, and one with Harry Riot, the editor of the movie. These videos aren't as interesting as the last two, maybe because of their dip in technical quality as well as their dragging length. Rakasner answers all sorts of questions about what it was like on set, and Riot talks all about his experience with the production, having not even been brought on board until after the initial filming was done. 
I really can't complain as they are nice inclusions, but I would say check out the commentary track and the other two interviews first. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with this release of Who Done It. The packaging is gorgeous, as I've come to expect from Vinegar Syndrome, and the restoration work is just as top-notch. The bonus features definitely add a bit more to my appreciation for the film, and the movie itself was a fun slasher thrill ride. With that, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here on Pajama Theater. As always, like this video and subscribe for more boutique Blu-ray reviews. If there are any other Vinegar Syndrome releases you'd like to see a review of, let me know down below in the comments. Until then, take care and I'll see you guys next time.